Hello and welcome once again to NG Tracy. Well, we're lucky enough to be in Florida. So one of the things I've had to learn how to use when I've been out here is the all-in-one washer dryer. So today we're gonna to be looking at the General Electric, the GE GUD, the GUD24. Now this is very much a compact washer dryer. It's very effective. There's lots of different versions of it you will find. And it's used where there's, we are tight on space. So apartments, vacation, homes, uh, a lot of timeshares have it. So it is a very easy machine to use, so let me give you a quick five minute run through on just how to do that. So this is the GUD24, this is a, a more recent version of it, um, but they all look exactly the same. The outside of the unit is always the same because it's fitting in a very tight space that's been designed for it in many of these flats. So in the bottom you've got a very American uh, looking uh, top tub, we don't have those in Europe. And then on top, completely independent, you can run both at the same time. You have got a very effective dryer. Some of these in some of the facilities are gas. This one, like most of them, is electric. It doesn't make a lot of difference, to be honest. They do about the same job. And then you've got quite an array of buttons here. So let's go through those and show you what you need to do. I haven't found any difference in the performance of this machine whether you spend $20 on a big brand or this one which comes from Dollar Tree. It works just as effectively on everything we've washed here, both whites and coloured, so you don't need to spend a lot of money on detergent. So there are three places inside here. The liquid I would just place in the bottom of the drum uh, of that Dollar Tree one, one big capful is enough. Here is where you would put your fabric softener if you're going to be using that. And this one, I guess for whites, this is where you would put your bleach. To be honest, with this type of machine, we're not finding huge differences. Um, it's more to do with the settings you choose here. I'm only doing uh, a few items, so actually one cup here of this will be fine. Um, I do give it a good shake just to make sure it's okay and I put it in before the clothes are there. I did do it once on the clothes and my black jeans seem to end up still having a little bit of the laundry liquid. So put that in first. Now you can fit quite a bit in here. It's not as big as you want at home, but you can fit quite a bit in there. So that goes in there, drop that down. Now the actual amount of water and the time the machine is gonna weigh it and work a lot out itself. So over here, you can see you've got a lot of different settings. Uh, to be honest, normal or heavy on the cottons is fine. Um, I tend to have it on warm here if it's um, white. If it's colours, I just leave it on that cooler setting there. And I always select second rinse to make sure we've got all the laundry powder out. And then here, you can push some buttons. I'll push that on first to turn it on. And I put the deep rinse on as an extra thing and again it's just really make sure that you've got all of the powder and all of the dirt and dust out of your clothes so that's that's it running um, now you can run if you've already done that before you can now run the top one at the same time as well um, we haven't got anything now, there are two different versions of this this later version this is where your flick filter is um, and you need to make sure you get this out here make sure this is clean because that can be a fire hazard in the older models there's a little bit here that you just pull up and you'll find that's where the flick is um, kept now obviously if you're in a rental it's not always been cleaned by the cleaners or the people before so before you start using it just make sure you've emptied the flick there and then this is pretty simple really You've got one button here and you can select which one you want. I almost always go there for optimum and then you push start. So we'll wait for the laundry finish and we'll pop uh, my first lot in. That's the sound your machine's going to make. And you can see there it's put plenty of water in to cover all the clothes. So the lid will lock automatically when it's on a spin cycle. But if you're in a vacation home, etc., and you've got kids with you, I think maybe make sure you keep them away so no fingers get in any bits they shouldn't get in. When it all goes quiet, you know you're done. So this is not the easiest manoeuvre now. I'm trying to reach in here. 
to get at stuff. You haven't got all the headroom. Make sure you grab any out there. Right, we're in the dryer. We're on our optimum, so it's just start. And that will only take about 15 minutes and then it'll be fully done. Well, I hope you found that very useful and now you can get all your bits and pieces washed and get back to enjoying your vacation. This is Paul from London, well actually currently in Florida. I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio for now.